Hello and welcome to all students. In this lecture, we learn about linear programming problems and we study to find the solution solution of linear programming problems using graphical method. The outline of our lecture is first of all we see linear inequalities then we see solution of linear inequalities in one variable and then we see the solution of linear inequalities in two variables and some examples based on it so see the linear inequalities so note that in graphical method the number of variables in the constraints cannot exceed 2 since all the constraints are linear we begin with the study of linear inequalities represented in graphical form so here linear inequalities means the inequalities which don't have product of variables in inequalities each term has either a single variable or a constant number that inequality is called as linear inequality so now see the linear inequalities consider the following inequalities and these are the examples of linear inequalities first is x is less equal 5 second is 4y greater equal 7 and third example of linear inequality is 2x plus 3y less equal 8 and 5x minus 3y strictly greater than 3 these inequalities are the linear inequalities so equalities and inequalities has a difference every inequality represents a set of values of variables which satisfies this inequality so every inequality is nothing but the set of set of values of variables for example solution set of the inequality first inequality x is less equal 5 is so x is less equal 5 represents a set and that set is nothing but it is a set of all real numbers such that x is less than or equal to 5 so it is the set of all those x which are less than or equal to 5 so this set contains infinitely many numbers because there are infinitely many numbers which are less than or equal to 5 next inequality is 4y greater equal 7 is also a set of all those real numbers such that which satisfies 4y greater equal 7 means it is the set of all those real numbers which are greater than or equal to 7 upon 4 so we observe that the solution set of an inequality is an infinite set it contains infinitely many points solution of linear inequality in one variable as mentioned earlier we will be representing these inequalities graphically and obtain their solution so every inequality linear inequality we can represent by graphical method or every inequality is nothing but this set of set of points and these points we can represent by using graph 
consider the inequalities x less equal 5 and y greater equal 7 by 4 each of these can be shown as follows solution set of x less equal 5 so we draw the solution set of this inequality graphically first of all we have we take a graph paper and on that graph paper draw x axis draw y axis and these both axes are perpendicular to each other and the point of intersection of these two axes we know that it is called as origin it is origin so to draw the solution set of x is equal to 5 we then take a scale on x axis and y axis also on x axis 1 unit is equal to 1 and in this way we write all the points on x axis similarly we write take a scale on the y axis okay and then now we draw the line x equal to 5 so can you guess where is the line x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 line is here okay so from this line now we find out all those x which are less than 5 so see here so x is less equal to 5 this is this is the set of all those points in xy plane okay it is the set of all those points so x is less equal to 5 is the set of points in xy plane such that whose x coordinate is strictly less than uh, whose x coordinate is less than or equal to 5 so what is that region can you guess so region is here so this is the region in this region if i take any point then its x coordinate is always less than or equal to 5 so this is the region represented by this inequality in xy plane so once again so this is the region okay so similarly now we can write the solution set for the inequality y equal to 7 by 4 in xy plane so again we draw the x axis y axis both are perpendicular origin and take a scale on the x-axis as well as on the y-axis so after that we draw the line y is equal to 7 by 4 so can you guess can you guess where is the line y equal to 7 by 4 so see here y is equal to 7 by 4 so on the y-axis identify the number 7 upon 4 so that number is somewhere here and we draw one horizontal line from that number on the y-axis that is the line of equation y equal to 7 by 4 and all those points which are above that line all those points which are above that line having y coordinate greater than or equal to 7 by 4 so this is the region represented by this inequality in xy plane okay so this is the region now we try to represent the uh, the common region represented by these two inequalities in xy plane okay the common set of x is less than or equal to 5 and y is greater equal 7 by 4 the common solution set or common region we can draw like this x axis y axis per both are perpendicular origin scale on x axis scale on y axis and first we draw the region of the inequality x is less than or equal to 5 
or y is greater than or equal to 7 by 4 then draw the region represented by x is equal to 5 then we see the common region which is in the purple color the region shared by the purple color is the common region represented by these two inequalities therefore we have a common region represented by these two inequalities like this okay so it is in purple color so this is the way of uh, identifying the region or this is the way of identifying the solution set of the given inequality or uh, we can find the common region of given two inequalities in xy plane now solution of linear inequalities in two variables consider a linear inequality ax plus by less than or equal to c or ax plus by greater than or equal to c each of the inequality will be solved with the help of an equality given by ax plus by equal to c record the following sorry it is must be recalled recall the following things now each linear equation up to two variables represent a straight line in general so we know that in 10th standard we have studied the linear equ uh, equations in two variables and uh, the linear equation in two variables represent in straight line in xy plane find the graphical representation of such a, an equation one needs to draw a line in the xy plane a line can be easily draw by locating any two points on it so to draw a line we have to locate two points on that line just join these two points and you will identify that line okay or we can see that line okay therefore our job is to find two points on the line that is very important using the following concepts we will try to simplify the process of finding these two points on the line a line passing through origin if and only if its constant term is zero suppose i am taking one example y is equal to 4x so in that equation there is no constant term therefore that line passing through origin so all those lines which are in the form of y equal to mx y is equal to mx m is constant so that so all those lines passing through the origin okay so if the constant term is absent in the equation then line passes through origin therefore by taking the equation of the line we can immediately tell whether it passes through the origin or not passing through the origin so if i take the equation like this 3x plus 4y equal to 8 then in that equation 8 is a constant therefore it contains a constant term and therefore that line does not passes through origin if it passes through the origin then obviously one point on that line is the origin find the another point so how to find another point so if the line is passing through origin then origin is a one point on that line now let us try to find out or let us see how to find another point on that line give any value of x and get the corresponding value of y if the line is not passing through origin then two points a and b where it cuts the x and y axis can be easily found as follows 
put y equal to 0 in the equation that is important now put y equal to 0 in the equation of the line and get the corresponding value of x say x equal to x1 therefore a equal to x1 comma 0 is a one point on that line and uh, to find another point now put the other variables x equal to 0 in the equation and get the corresponding value of y say y equal to y1 therefore b equal to 0 comma y1 is other point on that line okay so that is very important okay so if okay so now how to find the points on the line we have seen now so if the line passing through origin and if the line is not passing through origin in both the cases we can identify two points on that line so that we can we can easily draw that line on the graph paper note if the equation of the line is of the type x equal to constant or y is equal to constant if the equation of the line is of the type x equal to constant then that line passing through that constant on the x-axis and it is parallel to y-axis okay and for the line y equal to constant that line passes through the constant on the y-axis and it is parallel to x-axis okay then it is parallel to y-axis or parallel to x-axis and as shown earlier such a line can be drawn without bothering two points on that line so in this case we don't we don't need or we it is not necessary to find or a no need to find out two points on that line in this case okay so directly you can draw that line examples so question number one find the solution set or common region represented by the constraints or the inequalities x greater or equal 0 less equal 3 and y greater or equal 0 less equal 2 so for these two inequalities we have to find out common region represented by these two inequalities or common region means common solution of these two inequalities okay so let us start now first we draw region represented by the inequality x greater or equal 0 less equal 3 now x is greater or equal 0 less equal 3 is the set it is the set of all points in xy plane which lies between the lines x equal to 0 and x equal to 3 so we draw this region represented by the inequality x greater or equal 0 is equal 3 as follows so first of all we take a graph paper on that graph paper we draw x axis y axis both are perpendicular origin take a scale on x axis as uh, uh, 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit is equal to 1 centimeter like this also take a scale on the y axis 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit and we draw two lines x is equal to 0 line and x is equal to 3 line but x equal to 0 line is y axis itself and x equal to 3 line is here okay so y axis and the line x equal to 3 the region in between these two lines is nothing but the region represented by this inequality okay so this is the region shaded by the red color and uh, this is the region represented by this inequality so similarly we draw the region represented by the another inequality so now now we draw the region represented by the inequality y is greater or equal 0 less equal 2 okay so y greater or equal 0 less equal 2 
is the set of all those points in xy plane which lies in between the lines y equal to 0 and y equal to 2 okay we draw this region represented by the inequality y greater equal 0 less equal 2 as follows region okay so let us take a graph paper draw again x axis y axis perpendicular origin and draw the scale take a scale on x axis as well as take a scale on y axis okay and draw the two lines first line is y equal to 0 but y equal to 0 is nothing but x axis okay and another line y equal to 2 draw this line y equal to 2 okay so this is the line y equal to 2 means y is constant y equal to constant therefore that uh, line is nothing but a line passing through y uh, to, uh, 2 on the y axis and which is parallel to the x axis okay the region between the line y equal to 2 and x axis is the region represented by this inequality and we shade this region by blue color okay so this is the region represented by this inequality now we find the common region given by these two inequalities or the common solution so now common region of this two inequality is again we draw the same procedure x axis y axis scale okay so you can use the graph paper or you can uh, draw this on your white paper also okay so your first region now the second region and we observe that where is the common region that common region is here means with purple color okay we draw the common region separately okay so this is our common region represented by these two inequalities so let us uh, now let us take one homework for you Question number one, draw the common region represented by the inequality x is greater or equal to less equal 6 and y is greater or equal 0 less equal 5. So draw this common region represented by these two inequalities uh, by your own on the graph paper and if you have any query you can contact and thank you thank you for uh, thank you thank you for uh, paying attention thank you very much